It's happening. We're about to go apartment hunting. We're moving to Dallas. Just us in here. Um, it's really nice. I like it. So this is a one bedroom. Um, we have a washer and dryer on this side, and then this is the kitchen. Let me actually zoom out. So she said that in the two bedroom, it would be cherry floors and it would match the apart or like the cabinets. I love how spacious this living room is. It's huge. Um, good windows it's kind of dark in here but it's it is cloudy um, we have a shower and then the bathroom We're doing a self-guided tour so and then the closet is actually really big I love how they have like kids stuff in here um, it's actually a pretty big closet that's good for like shoes so she said that it's very similar except obviously um, it's gonna have two bedrooms so looking at it from this way it's actually huge i love the exposed um air vent i don't know if that's just decor it's probably just decor i don't know um but literally this feels huge even yeah. just for a one bedroom i wonder if this is considered a studio because it doesn't have a, a door so what do you think that's nice I'm not sure about the area. There's a lot of construction and you can kind of hear it. I'd just be worried about nap time, even though Judah uses a sound machine, but this kitchen, I love the shelving on top of the washer and dryer. This kitchen is pretty big for a one bedroom. We have electrical. Um, I love how big the island is. There's lots of storage. Um, I'm not sure how I would feel about cherry cabinets though and cherry floors it's not the vibe so yeah this is apartment number one so I'm gonna do a little voiceover over a few of these clips because there was a lot of talking and um, I just want to explain more about the apartment so this one was really nice I loved how spacious it was all the windows it was just the perfect unit it had a nice little backyard area it was out of our budget, it was expensive, um, and the area was nice, but it wasn't an area that we could see ourselves living in. Um, overall, this unit was beautiful. It also wasn't gonna be available for the time that we needed it, and the deadline or the timeline of when we were moving was really important, so we were really wanting to make sure that we could find a apartment or a unit that was available before we would be out there, so we could just drive our truck and move it out there straight to the apartment so um, this one was a no-go but definitely a very nice apartment This third unit was nice. Um, I didn't really like the lighting, although I know we wouldn't have had this same exact unit because it's the model. Um, overall, I like the finishes of it. Um, I really liked the kitchen, it was really nice. Um, but it wasn't in an area that we really cared for and the price was a little high for what it was. Um, so overall, we just decided to pass. One common theme of apartments in Texas or in Dallas at least is that they're just really expensive right now the market is really expensive and you know we were thinking about the area that we wanted to live in the kind of apartment that we wanted and we didn't want to really settle so we actually looked at like 12 apartments but I didn't film all of them so these are just some of the few that um, I wanted to include
This apartment was absolutely stunning. I loved the loft vibe that it gave, um, the exposed um, ceilings, um, the kitchen. The layout was really nice. I wasn't really a big fan of the floor. It was like concrete with like a, I don't know how to describe it, but it was just, I mean, it was cute, but I was worried more about it for Judah. The one thing that made us not rent this apartment unfortunately was the rooms where the rooms were located was right in the parking garage so literally i feel like i would have never been able to have the windows open because anyone could have just like just sit there and watch so that was like the reason we didn't end up renting it um and we were just bummed about it because we really loved the area we loved the unit and it was really nice but yeah those windows were a no Saturday we're on the way to look at our first apartment for the day we have about four tours today and I think we're probably gonna try to fit in a few more and then decide today where you want to rent we kind of have an idea of one of the places like our heart is set on it we haven't even looked at it but just by the photos the prices and the special that they're having and um, we had called yesterday and this like the staff is so sweet um, which is always a good sign if the um what's it called the leasing agents or consultants if they're really nice like that's always really good um you know even when you're leasing and they go beyond like they go the extra mile it's always great so josh is excited about these properties so leasing leasing makeup day yesterday we walked so much it was so it wasn't even like soup it was just like it was kind of humid yesterday the weather was hot it was hot it was hot we were walking properties sweating and my make i just wanted to take my makeup off it was like not good so then i was like today we're not gonna wear any makeup it's a no makeup day i didn't really vlog in between um the apartments yesterday so i think what i'm gonna do is like a voiceover of the apartments and just talk about it or, or each apartment complex and then today is going to be one of those days where I'm going to try to vlog more because I feel like I need to vlog and like I'll take you where we're going to eat and stuff like that. Do you think we have time to stop and get food? Like something quick like Starbucks or? There's probably stuff in that area. So we're probably going to get something to eat so yeah I'll take you guys This apartment the area was great but it was just so tiny and it was literally more expensive than a lot of the units that or apartment complexes that we had looked at um, I wasn't super or Josh and I weren't super like wowed um, the kitchen was small it didn't even have an island so this was a no This was our favorite, like the finishings, um, just the color of the cabinets, the bathrooms. However, unfortunately the view was not really it. I don't think they would have gotten good lighting even on a sunny day. And then this would have been Judah's room and the bathroom was in the room. So it wasn't even like a Jack and Jill. It was, we had to go in his room. So then we would have to have guests go in our bathroom and also the bathroom in his room had a shower and the tub would be in the master. This kitchen was literally gorgeous. Unfortunately, the bigger units wouldn't have been available until after we moved, so we had to pass on this one. And it was also a, a lot more expensive than a lot of the units that we saw as well.
Good morning, guys. It's our last day here. We're about to get coffee. We're going to an oldie, but a goodie that we love when we used to live here. It's called Ampersand. Um, so yesterday we found an apartment. Um, we put in an application, so you probably won't hear anything probably until Monday, unless she's working tomorrow today, and she will process that. So yeah. I will do it right away. Josh used to be a leasing consultant. Leasing. Leasing. That's what I said, leasing. You said leasing. Whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we get approved because it was nice. So, 